Dana, Dana, what time is it? <laughs> what time is it, Dana? Please tell these guys. <laughs> it's Tony time. <laughs> Nobody talk about Tony time. Hey, all world talk about Habib time. I grew up in mountain, you know, like I'm coming from nowhere. Like people need who this guy with headgear, like nobody understand what it is like people interesting and he come to the he go into the inside the cage he smash everybody he's 25 and all who this guy world champion like everybody talk about him where he from russia but originally he's not from russia he's from Caucasus. where he from in dagestan where he from born you know like he, he born from mountain he wrestling all his life with beers you know like this guy is crazy you know i'm very happy about this father gonna be with me you know when I go to the cage or doesn't matter, whatever, when the father with me, I feel like my back, I have lion. We know that you're going to be What I need now, I have belt, I defend my belt. I'm famous, I have money. Why I'm here, like a lot of people ask me. Like, uh, they don't understand one thing, like what inside me, this is about fire. Because uh, all my life I compete with someone and you know, I want to keep doing this. And, uh, I have big, big fire inside and I really want to compete with the best fighter in the, in the world, you know. This is not about like best fighter from country or somewhere, it's about like seven, 7 billion people who the best bring this guy. This is about me. I know my, my father gonna smash when I go home because I know he's gonna smash. Yeah, Quinta is a real Brooklyn gangster. This is not about chicken. Yeah, Quinta is a real gangster. He come here. Where's Connor? He, he wanna fight with Bass? I wanna fight with real gangster, you know? Yeah, Quinta, thank you so much. Because this is this sport about respect. Number one thing in this sport, mixed martial arts, this is respect. When you come to the gym, like we teach, I, 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 will, I, I teach kids four years. Since 2008 to 2012, I, te I, I teach kids for combat sambo, you know? And first things what I teach for kids, Hey, you have to respect gym, you have to respect your opponent, like uh, your sparring partners, teammates, you have to respect coaches, you have to respect everybody. This sport about respect. You can't use this in, in outside, you know, in street or somewhere. You have to be respect, you have to take care of everybody, you know. This sport about respect, this sport not about trash talking. If you talk about this chicken anytime, inside the cage or outside the cage, I'm here. Now I'm gonna change this game. Give me 30 minutes and I can fight with anybody. Tony or Connor, doesn't matter. Maybe DC, doesn't matter. I want I want to stay humble, but I have to talk because your guys talk too much. And you know what interesting? I understand how crazy power UFC PR machine. Your guy, beginning of the year, he tap like chicken. End of the year, he fight for the title. Crazy. Irish, only six million. Russian, 150 million. I want to fight for your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. I don't know why, why I have so much everything in my life. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, I want to say thank you so much, God, first of all. Then, I have father here, my father. I want to say thank you for my father. Of course, my father always tried to push me with all tough opponents, you know. His dream fight, I fight with his GSP, you know, his dream fight, because GSP since 2008, he don't lose, you know. Even if he lose, he take rematch with these guys, you know. He have like 9 or 10, 9 or 10 uh, title defense, you know. He was a uh, two-way division world champion. He really, really very big star and really, really good, good athlete, you know. Hey, I don't want to, hey, I have to bring this sunglasses. Up. In I'm street, street fight, fight, I can you understand? No, Who are you? Here. You never fight in You American guy. In American, you cannot fight in the street. There we go. Here I am from right. real mountain. I can eat you in street. Here we fight. go. I, I like Liverpool. I, I remember when I was a kid, 2005, when I watched uh, Liverpool versus Milan in Dagestan. We have big screen uh, TV in the uh, beach. Like, like thousands of people watch on this match. And when they losing, like first time, after first uh, time, like 3-0, I really believe them. They have to come back, they have to come back because I like the, the, those team, like with me, Milan Baros, then Schmitzer, Riese, uh, Hupia, I remember this. Like, uh, uh, Steven Gerrard, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like, it was like crazy thing. <laughs> Send me a message, hey, come here, this place, and that's it. Without security, without UFC, without nothing. Just send me a message, let me know where, and that's it. And, and with what time. Let me know, and that's it. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. I'm gonna smash your boy. You know, I told you guys, when you put him wrong way, he gonna tap. No, what happened today? Like, they call him two-time world champion, like, two weight classes, but today he tap. Like, he tap. He, he begged me, please, don't kill me, you know. And, you know, all my life, I tried to be undefeated, undisputed champion, you know. And now, I cannot make mistake. This is make me scared. Um, what do you believe the future looks like? I know you want to take a little bit of downtime, but do you believe Tony Ferguson is next? Do you want to take a long layoff? I mean, what are your initial thoughts right now? Next is Coca-Cola with ice <laughs> and, and some steaks with burgers, you know. It's like, I'm very hungry. What's up? How are you, are you good? Yeah. Good luck for your fight. Thank you, man. It's a good thing for you, eh? Yeah. You're Thank the you best, so man. Much. You're Thank the you best. So hey, happy, you guys. happy for you. My father say, his dream fight, me versus George Sinclair. <laughs> My father wanna push me with everybody all the time. I know a lot of things about you. Be close with your parents because one day it's gonna happen something because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You never know. Thank you guys. Thank you, coach. I love you so much. Respect your parents. Be your parents very close. This is very important. Parents everything, you know, your mother, your father. And that's it. And everything in your life is gonna be good. If you're gonna listen to your parents, mother, father, you know, be very close with them, you know. And that's it. I think other things, everything is calm, you know, because your parents are gonna teach you what you have to do. But, you know, when you're 15, 16 or 17 years old, you think you know everything, you know. You feel a little bit power, you forget about when you was two years old or one and a half years old, you forget about everything. Now you big guy, 16 years old, okay? And you feel power, everything, and you, sometimes you don't respect your parents. Uh, you have to remember everything. Uh, when you grow up, how they support you, how they give you life, you know? This is very important. Be your parents close and that's it.